packet sniffer also contains a more advanced feature called active sniffing. To demonstrate this feature, we will use a more complex setup of a sniffer and a host connected directly to a wireless access point. This feature is based on the ARC injection method, and it allows us to sniff the traffic of any neighboring host in a switch network. So let's activate the Wi-Fi sniffer. and issue a ping from host A to an outside server. In our case, we'll ping nasa.gov. As we can see, due to properties of switch network, we cannot sniff host A traffic. So let's use active sniffing. In order to use active sniffing, we'll activate the domain scanner menu. From this menu, we can scan our network and discover the IP and MAC addresses of all our network neighbors. We need this information in order to choose an active sniffing targets. Now that we know the IP and MAC addresses of host A and the access point, let's open the ARP spoof spoofer and inject packets which will change the target to ARP tables. This will give us access to the target's traffic. To avoid denial of service, we'll also set the IP forwarding. As you can see, the ping now takes much longer to arrive. That means that we're routing traffic through the sniffer, and we have access to the traffic. So now let's go back to the Wi-Fi sniffer menu. As we can see, we now have access to host A traffic. So let's stop the ping command. For conclusion, let's open an FTP connection from host A to a remote FTP server and see what kind of information we can sniff out of this connection. So we've opened the connection. And now let's input a username. As we can see, we've captured the packet containing the username. So now let's uh, try to capture the password as well. Here we go, we got the password also. Thank you.